Today's picks and videos are brought thanks to Kairai Akela Siberian Husky. Siberian Huskies were developed by an indigenous native tribe in Russia, known as the Chukchi people, at some point in prehistory. When changing climate conditions forced the semi-nomadic Chukchi to expand their hunting grounds or perish, they rose to the challenge by developing a sled dog capable of hauling light loads over vast expanses of frozen wasteland in sub-zero temperatures. These dogs were an integral part of the Chukchi people's everyday lives and were bred to be not only energetic and enduring but also to be companionable. From the 1890s to the 1930s, Chukotka sled dogs were actively imported into Alaska to transport gold miners to the Yukon, first as part of the Klondike Gold Rush, and later for the All-Alaska Sweepstakes, a 408-mile distance dog sled race. The dogs from the Chukchis proved to be fast runners of great endurance despite their small size. Siberians caught the eye of the public when they began winning sled races in the early 1900s, but they made headlines in 1925 in the Great Race of Mercy, where these sled dogs made their best-known contribution to American history. It was the winter of that year that a diphtheria epidemic hit the small town of Nome, which put around 10,000 people at risk. In order to deliver the serum to villagers, 20 sled drivers and over 100 dogs undertook the grueling 658-mile trip to pick up the needed medicine in a town known as Nulato and bring it back to Nome. A journey that should have taken 25 days was made in just under six and it was made in unbearable conditions. The last leg of the journey had Gunnar Kazan driving the team, but it was the dogs that brought the serum home, as the conditions made it impossible for him to see even the two dogs closest to the sled. The event is depicted in the 2019 film, Togo. A measure of this is also depicted in the 1995 animated film, Balto. In honor of this lead dog, a bronze statue was erected at Central Park in New York City. It was shortly after this, in 1930, that Siberian Huskies saw recognition by the American Kennel Club. Nine years later, the breed was first registered in Canada. The Siberian Club of America was founded in 1938. This courageous canine is a graceful working dog, of medium size, well-furred, and somewhat compact. Their medium-sized skull is slightly rounded on top, tapering from the widest point to the eyes. Ears are medium-sized, triangular in shape, close-fitting, and set high on the head. These are thick, well-furred, slightly arched at the back, and strongly erect, with slightly rounded tips pointing straight up. Eyes are almond-shaped, moderately spaced, and set slightly obliquely. These may be brown, blue, or one of each, all with a keen expression. The party color does not affect the vision of the dog. The stop is well-defined and the bridge of the nose is straight from the stop to the tip. The muzzle is of medium width, tapering gradually to the nose, with the tip neither pointed nor square. The nose can be black and black, gray, sable, or agouti dogs, liver and red dogs, and black, liver, or flesh-colored in white dogs. In some instances, Siberian Huskies can exhibit what is called snow nose or winter nose. This condition is called hypopigmentation. Their well-furred tail is usually carried over the back when the dog is at attention. When carried up, the tail does not curl to either side of the body, nor does it snap flat against the back. Hair on the tail is of medium length and approximately the same length on the top, sides, and bottom, giving the appearance of a round brush. These dogs will often curl up with their tails over their faces and noses to provide additional warmth, often referred to as the Siberian swirl. A Siberian Husky has a double coat, medium in length, that is thicker than that of most other dog breeds. It has two layers, a dense, finely wavy undercoat and a longer topcoat of thicker, straight guard hairs. It protects them effectively against harsh Arctic winters, allowing them to withstand temperatures as low as minus 50 to minus 60 degrees Celsius, minus 58 to minus 76 degrees Fahrenheit, and also reflects heat in the summer. An excessively long coat, sometimes referred to as a woolly coat, lacks the thicker protection of the standard coats guard hairs, causing quicker overheating during serious harness work, and becomes easily matted and encrusted with snow and ice. 
Siberian Huskies come in a variety of colors and patterns, often with white paws and legs, facial markings, and tail tip. Example coat colors are black and white, copper red and white, gray and white, pure white, and the rare Agouti coat, though many individuals have blondish or piebald spotting. However, Merlin brindle coat patterns are not permitted and are often associated with health issues and impure breeding. The Siberian Husky is a medium-sized dog, slightly longer than tall. While males are ideally between 20 and 24 inches, 51 and 61 centimeters tall at the withers, females are smaller, growing to between 19 to 23 inches, 48 to 58 centimeters. The people of Nome often referred to Siberian Huskies as Siberian Rats, due to their size of 35 to 60 pounds, 16 to 27 kilograms, versus the Alaskan Malamute's size of 75 to 85 pounds, 34 to 39 kilograms. Huskies have a lifespan of 12 to 14 years. The recommended level of physical activity is high. Many have fallen in love with the wild nature and pride of Huskies. Their beauty often drives people to purchase them, unaware of their difficult traits, which makes many Siberian Huskies prime candidates for shelters. Huskies' fur is self-cleaning, meaning they may only need a handful of baths a year. However, brushing them out weekly is pivotal in helping keep their coat and skin healthy. Because Huskies have an undercoat, they tend to shed large amounts twice a year, needing daily brushing during this period. One should rake out the old coat with a metal or pin comb as needed. It should be noted that the absence of the undercoat during the shedding season is normal. Though Huskies are a healthy breed, pay special attention to their nails. If the nails aren't cut properly, they can develop serious problems. Siberians are active, athletic dogs who need to be exercised 30 to 60 minutes daily, and can adapt to city life easily, as long as they have playgroups and off-leash areas to roam. Huskies have an extreme urge to run, and run fast. Due to this, they should not be off-leash when not in a fenced area. They make excellent jogging companions, but should not be exercised in hot weather. The good news is that Siberian Huskies do not bark. Here's the bad, they do enjoy howling. If they are left alone too much, they can be diggers and chewers or will give the neighbors a lovely howling concert. The reason why they do not make ideal pets for apartments. A busy and active Siberian is a happy and healthy Siberian. This is a dog for an owner with an active lifestyle. Hiking and other outdoor sports will keep your husky healthy, happy, and out of trouble. Siberian Huskies are classic northern dogs. They are intelligent but somewhat independent and stubborn. They thrive on human company but need firm, gentle training right from puppyhood. Sometimes you may see a mischievous expression on your husky, as they are smart and problem-solving animals. However, they can be difficult to train and are sometimes not overly eager to please their people. The best approach is to make all training exercises fun for both the dog and the handler. Siberian Huskies are pack dogs, and they need an owner who is the clear leader of the pack. They are not known to be aggressive, and usually, get along with other dogs and humans. Due to this, do not expect much of a watchdog. They can be very tolerant of children, but like all other dogs, should be supervised when around young children. Always teach children how to approach and touch dogs, and always supervise any interactions between them. All breeds benefit from early socialization, basic obedience training, and learning good manners, and the Siberian Husky is no exception. Huskies are generally healthy, but like all breeds, they are prone to certain health conditions. Health issues in the breed are mainly genetic including congenital laryngeal paralysis, seizures, and defects of the eye, such as juvenile cataracts, corneal dystrophy, canine glaucoma, and progressive retinal atrophy. Hip dysplasia is rarely found in this breed. The Orthopedic Foundation for Animals currently has the Siberian Husky ranked 155th out of a possible 160 breeds at risk for hip dysplasia, with only 2% of tested Siberian Huskies showing dysplasia. We hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget that each new subscriber and positive comment motivates us to create more and better content. Thanks for watching.